Hello and welcome back to my hot stream. Hot streaming Andor, the Cards of Wonder. As always, key was provided by the publisher. All opinions, thoughts are my own. And here we are. No title screen, nothing. Just straight into the campaign tutorial thing. My hot stream, I've heard a little bit about you. Few people have such a high magical talent as you. But you also need proper training. In Endor, in the future, you will encounter countless difficulties and challenges. Angel Academy will be the starting point of your journey. Believe in yourself and sincerely wish you to be the greatest magician. As you can see, the broken English. Um, this is a Chinese CCG, so hang in there. Don't just turn off the video now. Uh, this is a also it's mobile as well. So again, don't turn off the video. Um, but yeah, it's this is it's gonna be a, an interesting little ride. And there's going to be a lot of English mistakes. Angel Academy, founded by Fellini Vastream, is a school that teaches all kinds of knowledge, art, alchemy, and various magical theories to all Andor's magicians. Especially important is the teaching them how to use magic cards in actual combat. There's a little twist on how they use the magic cards, we'll see. I'm going to get in the tutorial. Arcane Guard. Um, I'm playing on a very small screen. There's no full screen mode still. Game's been out for a while. It's still early access. Keep that in mind. In each turn, you may gain one mana by offering a card from your hand. <laughs> okay, with plenty of mana, you can use your cards to be your part. Whee! Okay. So, complaints that the game's had that I've read and seen are the graphics, the art. It's not spectacular, as you can see. Um, the way the game works, you have this RTS grid. And you have a front row and a back row as you would expect. It's called Defense Battlefront. Click here, open the offering window. What What is that? You can choose a card in order to gain, oh yes, they, so you gain, you throw cards away to gain mana. Each turn only one card can be offered. So it's a different little spin on the CCG mechanics. There are games that do this already. So I could throw out a three and get three mana, I assume. I'm assuming that's how it works. I can't really say off the top. Let's see if it works like that. No. You get one. That's that's pretty poor. Okay. I don't think it'll matter. Okay, so, as you can see, we can slap it in here. Looks like we go defense and then we move them into the battlefront. Chest style. Oh, you put them down face down. Yeah, I have no mana av available. That was a... Uh, Unfortunate little thing there. There we go, it pops up. 1-3. We sacrificed a 2-5 for that though. We could have easily thrown the one another one of these one costs out. And it's a little test dummy. Target dummy. Each turn your mana will automatically return you full. And it looks like they move forward automatically as well. So every time you sacrifice, you get an extra mana. Okay. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Uh, let's uh first can we yeah, we're going to do that. Thank you. Chuck you in there. Boom. Throw out a sailor. Yeah, I'm just used to dragging. Unfortunately, the tutorial is forcing me to go through all that kind of stuff. Click to view the details. Yes. Uh, so here, we'll get some information. Cost. Creatures type, I guess. The power life. That's pretty standard. Factions. There are five factions in the game. Classes and such. Click the attack button. Okay, that's cool. Creatures calls to protect the player from damage. Yep, yep, yep. So we got typical. Oh, animation's not great. That's not. Yeah. That is. That's unfortunate. Way. Oh, what is that? Again, your perspective is much better than mine. Again, the window is small. I don't know. Why they'd ever fix that? It's very odd. Um, what's the carpenter? Hold down the left mouse button, and I guess on mobile you just hover or push down on it. Two five, standard bear. Ooh, merge. Mm, okay, all friendly creatures get plus one plus one to in turn. Two three versus a two five. Okay, let's throw this out or we'll get rid of the warden. One threes. Sacrifice you. Put out a carpenter. And put you there so you go bit beat down on this wood golem thing. What let's see if we can click on those. Miniature golem. 
Okay. Cool. Nothing else we can do. Slap the attack button. Watch them bump. Do a little grind. There you go, a little bumping. Okay, when your opponent loses all life, you win the game. Yes. And you can see the mana of the opponent. It's on 2, 0 out of 2. We have this little blood thing. Not quite sure what that means. Other than he's taken 2. Or he has 2 health left. That makes more sense. We've got 21 health on my side. 12 cards left in my deck. Hey! Okay, cool. So we saw something there, which was um, they moved up, and while my guy was in defense, hit him, and I guess they he put out a couple more because he could. Uh, let's see what we got. We have light in, uh, target creature gets plus two until end of a lot of these end to turn nonsenses. We can just throw some people out here. We can still throw things away, I assume. I don't know. It's not giving me the option now, but doesn't matter. Yep, just trade blows, kill the guy, no problem. And there is a single player campaign, I should mention. The Arcane Guard. Because a lot of people say there's not a lot of people playing, which you could imagine, of course there's not a lot of people playing. It's early access. Destroy all creatures, and perhaps maybe region locked. I don't know. It's early. Little four damage to all creatures. Okay, we got some more spells. At first, it's just a war of mouth and tongue. <laughs> we don't expect the situation to develop. Maybe because you got the first place in college, so Palafa is jealous of you. So far, a duel is inevitable, and according to the college traditions, please elegantly use magic cards to win the duel. Um, so we got what three fights to do? I'm not sure how many fights we have to do for the tutorial. Uh, there's a reward here: gold, more spells, more things to put out. We're playing some sort of. Soldier deck. Palafa, the previous college chief of college, is an arrogant guy. You must not take it easily. Full use of cards in your hand and your wisdom. Then give him a lesson. <laughs> that is great. Okay. Whoa. Six, seven. Triceratops. The position of chief belongs to me. So if you haven't seen, um, I did a previous CCG. Japanese, uh, one of the, I think the biggest Japanese CCG. Let, let it taste the power of lightning. Okay, still, it's still forcing me to do like a tutorial thing. Oh, uh, use drag and drop. I didn't even look at the spell. Oh, by the way, spells don't go off immediately. They take time. The used spell cards will be temporarily stored in the spell area. There you go, four damage to target creature in defense line moves out. And then we have Chastise, which is... Hold on. God. Deal 5 damage to target creature in Battlefront. Ah. Okay. And it's not eligible, as you can see. So We can't do anything. This is just teaching us spells, obviously. Pew pew pew. It'll move to Battlefront. And then we pop that on it. Blue shield button indicates your defense phase at the moment. Cool. In the defense phase, you can only use the flash spell cards or creatures with flash ability. The cards you use will glow with white, blue, yep. So, this guy is a flash spell. It says at the bottom. Boom! And then we just pass. Whoa! Do we have some AoE coming up? So cruel, but I can enjoy a big dinner of dragon meat. Oh, God. <laughs> cleave can only damage enemies on the battlefront. Using it now is not a good idea. It's recommended to end the turn first, reserving the mana to use the cleave in the second phase. Defense phase, okay. Pew pew. They'll move up. And then we AoE him down. Pretty straightforward. So it's pretty fully fledged sort of CCG mechanics. Not so used to that though, clicking on the buttons on the cards. Do two damage to all enemy creatures in the battlefront, okay. Throw it all on the battlefront. Goes in, and you pass the turn, then it goes off. There are more cards in my collection. Pew pew. So this does feel like a game that was done in the 90s. It does have that feel. 
of uh, an old RTS game. So what we got here? Can deal three damage to target creature in battlefront. Pew. Last turn, let it go off. It looks like my spells go off before he attacks. The defending side's spells will be executed earlier than the attack side's spells. There you go. So he just buffed it, and now I kill it. No, I don't. It's only three damage. While the priest dip what dims the light, I didn't read that. Oh, so it took it down the strength as well. It's not hitting me. I'm not quite sure why that is. Ah, that's a some that's a spell that I'm going to be getting myself at some point. Buff, buff, buff. There, I get hit. There we go. My library is almost empty. I'm on three. Destroy all creatures. Woot! Chuck that out there. For five. And? Uh, yeah, the animations do feel very 90s. I can see why people were complaining. The game is on Steam for like one euro 99, so... I guess you can't complain for the price. It's very retro indie. The Sabbath Flash spells will allow the opponent's creature to stop attacking for one turn. It will be more helpful to be used in the defense phase. Okay, so we're gonna let them go ahead. Get the defense phase, then freeze them down. Your defense. And what we have here is all creatures gain guardian. So I'm guessing that means they can't attack yet, yeah, says there. That's very good, they give you all the information. Pop that up, I'm not sure about the card down at the moment. My, my, my strongest creature, crush him. 3-3, three, three, that's it, you, that dinosaur was, that dragon was pretty strong. Before, electrical storm to blow them all up. Deal 4 damage to all enemy creatures. Very expensive. Pop that out. Slap the attack. My defensive stuff goes first. I have no more cards, and when you're out of cards, you die. Good to know. Tours, the tutorial seems fine. It's teaching us everything we need to do. All the mechanics. That's what they were, he used against us. Uh, that as well. Perhaps. Woot! Since you you are the best student in the college, it has been decided to let you visit the school hall of fame. On the road, the professor yells at you that the college often creates simulations of various physical combat by fabricating illusions. That sounds fine. However, he goes on to emphasize, emphasize how unsafe this process is. Okay. Uh, sulfur stick. Doom holy skill. Unique. Two. Exhaustion. Deal one damage to target creature. Can only be used during your turn. And we get a rarity, epic. I'm not sure if that means a random or we can craft an epic card with that. Broke illusion. Tutorial, you must have learned the basic rules. Now let's have a warm up fight. Okay, let's do that. Both players will receive seven initial cards when the game begins. The first move player will skip the first turn of drawing cards. Okay, standard. Uh, we go with a replace your hand. Two, three, one. Seems all good. We got some removal. Card draw. A little bit of everything. I'll keep that. Seems good. You can give up the current cards and re grab seven cards only once. No, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Why would you tell me otherwise? I got a lot of good stuff there. Okay, so we have some skills for our class. These are your holy skills. Click to view the details of the holy skills. It's very, very much set up for mobile, as you can see the way it's set up. Uh, the jihad. That's a bit on the nose there. Put an empire recruit derived creature onto your defense line. Okay, so that's nice. Pay three to put any creature out that's more expensive, perhaps. I'm guessing. No, wait, recruit, and who knows how powerful they are. This is life the holy skill gives to the player. Wow, it heals you. They've got an interesting mechanic. Okay, player's life is equal to the total of three holy skills' life. Okay, do not forget to gain mana by offering. Yes, good point. Select an offer card to gain mana. Um, why are you showing me the two two drop here? Are you are you telling me something? Let's see what friendly creatures all friendly plus one attack. I'll keep that. 
Maybe the slowly? I'm not quite sure what this means, slowly. It's 5-4, though. Raging Orc. Um, it's a 4-2 when it comes into play. For 3. Uh, let's throw this out. That's the one I want. Give me, Get rid of this one. You. So we've got some removal. Let's look at the other stuff. The other things we have here. Can we? No, we cannot. Check the other rings. Rings of power. Okay, what do we got? What you got? If you have fear, then I also become true. Fence. So we have to pass through all the phases. Typical stuff here. Another lightning bolt. We could chuck one of these lightning bolts out. What's this one? Uh, ooh. No, we'll keep that. This is for anywhere, right? Ah, this is the only defense line. Ooh, this is quite strong, too. What do we got to play? An elf sentinel or the miniature golem? Both are quite good in their own regards. Card drawing and so on. So let's go throw one of these out. These lightning bolts, sadly. Quite strong. Let's, you, let's put you out, big guy here. Now, I'm guessing there's going to be things that are going to be influenced by the position they are. Not just on the defense line or battlefront, but also with other creatures around them. Okay. A bit slow as well, for what I would expect. Hey! Most of the skills can also be used during the defense phase. Good to know, but I still want to know what these rings are all about over here. Goblins, check what this is. A zero cost. Goblin robber. I can throw you out. On the side. We also have this... what is it? That one as well, if we ever want to throw that out. Let's throw the sentinels out. Put you on the side here. Do we want to offer anything up so we can get to the rock golem eventually? It's kind of... yeah, maybe not. I should have got a card draw. Maybe... oh, maybe once we hit the attack, we'll get a card. When it pops up. Yes! And it's another four cost. 6-3. Okay, that's cool. Ping. Kills it. Strangely, it did not kill a 2-1. We're not sure about the AI. We have no clue. Deal 2 damage to all creatures, mine included. That's pretty harsh. A 6-3 beast. And a 5-4 for 4. We're going to have to sacrifice some stuff. Maybe we'll go ahead and sacrifice this. Uh, you already have enough mana. Use the Jihad banner. Um, okay, just to see what it does. Let's see how tough these things are. It's a recruit. Who knows what that's going to do? It's, it's waiting. Okay, let's see what it looks like. It's just a 1-2 for 3. That's... Ugh. I wasn't going to do anything else though, was I? A 2-2. Two, two. Probably has range. Again, he kills it. God, his ability is pretty strong. So can we look at his ability? Let's have a look. His ability is a Sulfur Stick, which we get at the end of this. Deal 1 damage to target creature, can only be used during your turn. Pretty strong. 2-5, I throw him out. This is not gonna win. Yeah. So, do I want to help, really? I can keep chucking these stupid things out, but let's not. Let's, let's put somebody out. Let's put him here. Or do we just take 2? Now let's do, put them here. Could have put another one of these golems behind as well, or, or recruits. Little one-two over here. What's he doing? He's got a bird in his hand. Yes, <laughs> it appears to be that way. Okay. So there must be situational bonuses as well for being in the fat battlefront. Oh, oh, what did he just do? Oh, interesting. Okay. We're going to sacrifice one of these guys. Charge is pretty cool. Oh, this one, two is going to die over here. Um, 
play Golem? Chuck him. Into the offering hole. And let's put something big and meaty out. Because we can. Watch a little elf over here die on the right. Yeah. Didn't, didn't even get a chance to strike back. There must be an ability the ranged guys have. For a strike or something. I'd love to see. Buffage. Lots of buffage, wow. Okay, let's have a look. Yep, first strike and reach. That's cool. Reach is... Oh. Reach is... There we go. Can strike back creatures with flying scale. Gotcha. Um, two... Do I have anything that's just a straight up two damage? That's not gonna hurt myself. Ah, defense line. Kill this. And three damage. Ooh, that's nice. Some heals. Do not want that still. I may put this guy out. And we want to throw a thing, anything out. No, I don't want to throw that out. Maybe this rain this hurts my guys as well. And we can put this guy out. So this is going to hurt over here. It's got swift strike, so. First strike, etc. We're going to just take three. Oh, we have a heal. Whoa! Nice. Still got four health. If we rush in there and start hitting him, he's gone. Doesn't matter what's going on on the right here. Oh, I keep forgetting about that, though. Why is my 5-4 not moving? Slowly. The creature enter into the battlefront postponing one turn. Okay, that would be why he's finally moving up now. Trigdoll, Village Vigilance, I can put him up here. Stop that. And put you out there. It's it's good game. I, I shouldn't worry. And you can only go to the front row, right? Yeah, Battlefront. Pop. Great, congratulations. <laughs> yeah, without the animations... You don't really have that impact. It doesn't feel very entertaining. Again, nowadays with card games, you really need to entertain. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of a boring experience. Congratulations on passing the trial. Next, you can start with the exercise mode and get a better understanding of the different card features of the game. Okay, let's start with exercise mode. Let's see first. Different decks. I guess we have four different decks. Let's have a look around first. I just want to see what there is. There's adventure modes. First adventure, you can see here we have what? One, two, three, four, five. Puzzles. A lot of different things here. Get out of that. Try playing against it, other players. Ranked in arena? What's arena? Custom clearance of Freedom Capital opened. <laughs> oh my. Yeah. Um, I don't know what that means. And then we have ranked here. Um, yeah. Mm. Uh, we do have a summon. So this is... Looks like you can just create a card. Or you randomly get one. Oh! oh. Similar to, I think, Faria? Faria had the same... Let's find out. Okay. Woot! Ooh! Legend, deadly. At the start of your turn, return two random creatures from your graveyard to your hand. Lich, mage. I like that. This is the, the class I would play in Necromancer. Um, I'm not quite sure what all the information is on here. 3-7, but these two little spider pips on the right. I don't know what they are. Legend, deadly. I'm guessing what that means. Legend, probably only, only have one on the field. Deadly, probably kills whatever damages. Okay. Well, let's try out one of these decks. I guess we were up against basic. Okay, let's have a look. Seem Whoa, there's a lot of stuff here. 
Some of the keywords are kind of funny. Die. Okay. Triggering certain skills when it dies, yeah. Get it. Uh, one more Trent Warrior. We've got here different things like races, classes. That's cool, I like that. You gain 10 life? Uh, I could throw that out, I don't really need that. Uh, we're gonna be fighting normal fights now, no more weaker opponents. 3, 4, 1, 2, strength. Ooh, it's gonna be slow. Target domain? I don't know what that means. Destroy target domain. What is that? What is a domain? We don't know. We'll find out. It does look like a slower hand. We have a 4, a 3... Oh, there's one drop. Okay, we'll keep it. And we'll probably chuck back the treatment of wounds. Where you at? Yeah, boom. So at least now we can see how a normal game would be. Uh, naturalize, don't we have? Yes, put this little guy out. First, let's have a look at the little guy. Um, a random friendly creature gets... Ah. Oh. So maybe we don't want to put him out. He's not going to get his, his ability, and he's pretty weak. The opponent has... Target creature gets plus one, plus one. And nothing. We have to get to 12, really? Health? Okay, that kicks in later on. Uh, or... Actually, no, I think our the health of the person is based off of that. These three abilities. You lose two life... So that's kind of cool, though. So your hero's health is based on your abilities. So the more powerful probably give you less. So there's a trade-off there. If you want really powerful abilities, you're going to have very little health. Vice versa. I'm going to go ahead and pass. Let's see if he plays anything down. If he does, I could kill it. If it's weak. Um, I don't know what Naturalize does. Doesn't explain. Destroy target domain? What does that mean? Okay, so we could kill that. Um, a random creature gets minus one, minus one. Yeah. Okay, so let's sacrifice something. Uh, let's see. Gets plus, plus, plus two. I like that a lot. There's a lot of good stuff here. I'm guessing this just destroys stuff. I, I don't see anything here to explain what this is. We throw it on this guy? Nope. So I'm not sure what domain is. Maybe it's an enchant. Maybe it's something else. Let's throw that out. Let's actually get rid of it. We don't know what it does, so let's get rid of it. Probably not the best. Uh, let's go ahead and use this ability. So, deal one damage target creature. can only be used during your turn. I'm not sure what the exhaustion is. The card cannot do other action. Yeah, okay, fine. Ping. Pass. Let it happen. It dies. Minus one to minus one to nothing. Going a bit defensive here. But we can play the two two maybe next turn. Oh ho ho! What do you guys have? Oh, you, we have to kill those. We don't want those at all. Um. Kill off one of them, but we got another one to deal with. And I shouldn't have thrown out the little 1 1 guy. I should have thrown something else out. Because at least I would have been able to play the 1 1 to kill the other guy. Would have been more useful. So I'm guessing my other two rings are just for health. Yeah, it's really strong getting the extra mana. Silver's Keeper, when Silver's Keeper defends, it gets plus two, plus two. Yeah, we already have that. Gotcha. By five Trample? Hey, Trample, we know what that is. What do we want to throw away, though? We've got a lot of good stuff. Maybe the Flying, even though it probably can't be attacked by anything other than Bowman? Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. Ping this. And play one of the 2-2 two -two guys out. This thing's defense... 
I think it's going to be attacking. We'll see what happens. Ping that. He's going to move into the attacking row, so he shouldn't get the defensive thing, but I don't know. Maybe he does. It, maybe it doesn't really work like that. Probably just kicks on it no matter what. But let's see what this sapling thing does. Ooh, what do we got over here? No, it didn't work. Haha, -ha, because he's attacking, not defensive. Got it. I got a little seedling. Let's check out this guy. Sylvan Singer, at the start of your turn, a random creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Fine. Let's see, we can buff this little guy. We can do all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, we can put you in to take that thing out. And... That is it. We can buff this for one or two. Why not? Why not? Little 3-3 three, three, three seedling. Last turn, let those go off. Wahaha. Oh, ha. It's gonna be wild, though. Oh, he can do himself. Did not see that coming. No worries, we can... Can we ping him? Uh, looks like... Looks like it'll attack first and then its thing will go off. I'm not quite sure the order. Oh, it doesn't matter. We can ping it now. What's this? Gift of Nature. Your mana limit increases by one. Seen that. Ping. We, should, we need to ping the other guy as well. Uh, da -da -da, throw this out. We could also sacrifice something. We haven't done that for a while. Doesn't matter. Let's just attack. Ping this guy. Smack him for three with a little seedling. Yeah, that's what we need to be doing. Hey, four, four, and a three, three. We are so behind on the mana. Oh, no. What's this? Treatment of wounds. Let's see what we got. Oh, you gained 10 life. Uh, offering. Don't really care. Six, six. Now we can do the same thing. Put some big guys out. Uh, that will be defensive. Because that thing's attacking. That'll go for a two, four. And... Reach, 1-5, that's cool. Uh, that means can strike... Ah, with flying. I was going to say, if you could put it in the defensive row and it could attack things past, that would be even better. But oh well. Um, that's going to die. We can ping it. Let's just put something out that can actually damage the opponent. <laughs> so we're going to kill the 4-1. We're going to take some damage. Seven damage. Oh, more than that. Three more damage. Ten damage. Eleven damage. Ooh. Nice. The buff worked really nice as well for the elf over here. Let's see. That 4-2 now is going to be a problem. Uh, trample. Target your also get the buff. For example, we could buff this up if we wanted to. Put the creature out. I'm not sure which one, though. Hold on a second. How tough is this guy? 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, we can't do both. Sad to say. Get rid of this thing. Or we could do this. Ping that. Take that. And buff over here. We could make this thing massive. Why not? And we still have enough for the ping? Okay. Cool. Attack. Okay. Card drawing. Ping that. That'll swing. The reach guy will kill it. I'll take three. I'm just realizing now. Oh no. No! I'm getting my just realizing this didn't go off. Don't know why. Again. Throw you out here. Block that. Paying to kill that, hopefully. Strength on that. 
Well, let's see how it goes. Takes it out. Yes. Good, 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 good. Top and three damage. I'm tired of taking damage. Hello, Kormai. Yeah, the only thing this could really do with better animations, better art, speed the whole thing up. What do you got? Plus three. He's dead anyways. Could just put this out just for the heck of it, just in case something crazy happens. And this was plus three, plus three until end of turn. Swing for the win. I'm guessing because it's on mobile as well, that's perhaps why it's so limited. <laughs> Saying that though, there are obviously really strong mobile games like Shadowverse, the one I mentioned before, the Japanese CCG. Really, really good it's on mobile as well and it looks it looks better uh what we got a couple other cards you can see a beast arcane apprentice um the faction is the eye i'm not sure the factions again they might be the mage faction or something you can buy more so you can increase your library as well hey please select a reward chest we have 18 starting keys so this game's got the classic key Way! Oh, can we keep going? No. Oh, we can. Um, we didn't even have to bother with that key. Screeching Drake. Open additional chests need six gems. Are you sure? I don't know. Let's let's waste all our gems. Is it all gonna be just gold? Oh no. This is probably the real money stuff. Oh no. <laughs> Hey, there we go. Um, another mage card, another mage card. When you s Okay, so when you're playing a mage, perhaps that's how it will be. You'll get mage cards. I'm guessing that is, because that was the basic nature deck. Okay, cool. Let's do another one. Okay, we got shamans, orcs, goblins. Electrical storm, elemental damage. Looks pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, it's quite slow. A two drop, a three drop, and then we have to wait for five and a six. It's very defensive. We'd be sitting back on our ele elemental attacks. Mm, but look at that flying wreck too. What is that? Wreck, when it attacks, if the dirt has domain, has domain, it will... Again, we don't even know what domain is. It'll deal X extra damage. I don't know what the domain is. We haven't been ex that hasn't been explained to us. Flying though can't be struck back by creatures without flying or reach. So that's really powerful in this game. So that's really nice to keep. Penetrating strike target creature gets plus two plus one gains channel. That's the one we'll we'll keep this. We'll send that back. It's nice to have some tricks. Uh no no sorry I've jumped jumped the gun. Uh, penetrating strike, throw that in there. Save the fire bolt until we need it. Can we use them against the enemies? Yeah, to any target. Good to know. Yeah. Uh, our ability, by the way, is the one we've seen before. Can't hit this thing because we don't know what it is. It's kind of nice coming to play effect. Yeah, a lot of the cards look really nice. I, again, it's probably a decent CCG. It's just the interface could be much better. Um, we gotta now throw throw something out. Deal three damage to our creature. Exhaustion after being used. The card can no longer do other actions anymore in the same turn. So I, at, perhaps after it attacks, it can do three damage to our creature. That is pretty powerful too. Uh, let's see. Let's find something we can throw away. Uh, that was the one I thought could be the best to throw away. The true drop, when you use a spell or flash card, Orc Shaman gets plus three attack. That's, I don't mind. Uh, let's go ahead and 
Well, let's look. What do, do we have any other three drops? Yes, we do. This guy. Oh, actually, a pump. Deal two damage to another random creature. Uh, one damage to itself. Uh, still, I'll chuck you out of there. Yeah, you really need to get your resources up for sure. And you are the one three bouncing off a one three. I think we can manage to take the damage. Trade some blows instead. And that is it. His ability, by the way, we did not look at that. We should have. That really is important. Uh, Jihad, put an empire recruit, which is the one twos. Wait, what did you do? Probably stunned me. Let's have a look. No, it didn't. Let's see. What did you do to me? Come into play effect. S seal, target creature. When the card turns from the back to the front, it triggers the special skills. Seal, sorry. The creature loses all skills and can't get new skills until the seal is removed. And we've lost what it was before. <laughs> oh well, that's life. No worries. Uh, this guy, this ta this tag dog, has first strike. Okay, one two is first strike. Okay, let's throw something out. Deal one damage to any creature, target, etc. Firebolts still there. Let's chuck out. Man, I can't wait to get to that. Bye bye. Rock slide. Still, it's only one five. That is really powerful, though. Uh, how much damage do I want to take? Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to put you there. I'm going to use that ability for sure next turn. And hopefully kill off the, the dog or the wizard or this thing. We'll see. We're going to use this ability. Right out. Hopefully it will be able to attack as well. I think it should. Hey! Taking some damage. Okay. What do you got? What do you got? I saw your turn. Deal one damage to another random creature player. That's cool. Wait, I can hurt me as well. Wait, can I hurt myself with this? Yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious. First, let's use the skill. Uh, use skill. Oh, again, we have to wait for the turn to see what it does. To see how it works. Um... I could put this out as well. Where do I want to put it? Kill the dog? Kill this wizard thing. And we can sacrifice something to kill the thing in the back. What do we want to sacrifice? That's really good. That's good. That's really awesome. That thing's awesome. I don't want to sacrifice anything. Especially not Firebolt. Let's hopefully draw something we can sacrifice later. Let's see what the two damage does first. Yeah? Yay! Woohoo! That is cool. Now I want to keep the fireball. I want to use it. He's playing a lot of little stuff out that I could probably kill with the firebolt. Way! And he can kill himself to do two damage to something. Whoa! So. I want to do that. I'm just going to see what happens. Firebolt. Uh, let's take out. Well, actually, we can just take this guy out, and he can start doing one damage at least. Kill that. We have here... Almost mana limit decreased by one, that's cool. But, um... Goodbye. Let's ping. Just to get rid of it eventually. One, two's gonna die. Ping. And there goes that. So, I could go ahead and use the sacrifice ability if I wanted to. I'm not sure. Got something in defense. Got something in defense. Oh, 3 1. Dang. Okay, I have to kill that. And the lightning bolt is 4 damage, I believe. In the back row. Yep, defense line. Use that to kill that. Kill that. Uh, use the skill. Kill something random myself. Uh, it's, it's not, maybe not worth it. Maybe this could completely screw everything up. Let's find out, just for fun. Pew pew, good. Kill that, get it out of the way. 
Okay, kill that. Get that out of the way. And hey, awesome. He killed something. There you go. That actually worked out well. Nice. Not so nice. Okay. What is my... F oh, dang. I forget. He's got that really cool ability. One damage. So let's have a look. Gained by the creature on the domain. Again, we don't know what the domain is. Uh, domain. Must be used to friendly creature. If the domain is occupied by enemy, it will be destroyed. Whatever that means. Um, yeah. That... We don't know what that does. <laughs> Gonna put you out. Block that damage. Center row is the battlefront. We don't know what domain is, yeah. The back row is defense. Hey, I hurt myself finally. Okay, 4-4, four, four, unstoppable. When it attacks on the battlefront, it, if it destroys the defender, it will deal damage. Okay, that's cool too. I'm going to put you out. Try to do this faster now. We have less options here. Go through all these animations. Hey, 5 damage. That's okay, got rid of that. Ping is going to come out. Who's he going to hit? Hey, very nice. Yeah, now it's not so great. Not really worried about it. Um, six. Start creature. I don't know how that's going to work. And six. Yeah, we can get rid of it now. What about the dragon? That is cool. Dragon's kind of small, hard to make out if it's a dragon. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Strange one. Angel's Blessing. Dang, I'm starting to take some beats. Hey, I hurt my own guy. Uh, 6 5. Unstoppable. Another one. Tark creature gains double strike. 8. 12, 16, 17, 18, that would be game over, really. Do anything, I'll put you out just to stop that. In case he has some more pump, double on that. Pass turn, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Nice. It's not bad, it's, it's, a, it's serviceable. Road of growth. I can see why everyone complains about the language. Uh, we've got Raging Orc. Uh, so we don't, it's not based on your class. So these are random. Got some Mage. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this faction is. Maybe we can't click on it and find out. Um, you could just pass this, you don't have to. But let's go ahead and use all our, all our free stuff. We click on all this at once. No, no, no. It's very slow. Yeah, it's the loot system is how it works. Using, I, I'm guessing the crystals are the real money. Um, a lot of cards though. I think I read 500 on the Steam page. Five factions, so 100 cards each faction. That's pretty cool. I am going to go ahead and do all of these before I end the stream. I want to go ahead and play all the different. Or well, at least these four classes, or decks and classes. Basic order deck. Maybe that's the one we had at the beginning. Order sounds like a soldiery sort of thing. Yeah, but we have some other in interesting spells as well. Shield, a lot of mechanics that would be cool to show off in the video. Creatures, two drop, one drop, six drop. Ooh, flying and shield though. And that's it. We've got some flash spells we could probably... Recycle those. My starting health is 32. Opponent's 32 as well. Looks like they just do a mirror. Kill the dragon. Destroy target creature with power 4. Or more than 4. Okay. 
AoE. Enemy creatures, that's fine. Shield, reduce the combat damage it gets. I like that. Vanguard also got shield. Cleave, we have two cleaves. We can chuck one of those cleaves out. Put two infantry drive creatures onto your defense line. I don't understand. Oh, here it says here. 2-2, uh, two, two, human soldiers. Again, it's kind of funny language. Now we can put this little guy out. Boom, done. And it's a little bulldog. With first strike. What do we have here? Target creature gets plus two until the end of the turn. Cool. We gotta sacrifice something though. Uh, put you out. No, we don't. Hold on. Before I do that, because I don't have the, the pew pew. I have this now instead. Ah, just the one two. Yeah, not great. Put you here. Pump that. Back for four. Nice. He's gonna put something in defense, I'm sure. Oh, he makes the dog big. What we got? Other friendly soldiers get plus... Okay, that's nice. That's what I'm gonna be putting out now. Let's see what else I gotta get rid of, though. Oh, that's quite good, too. Yeah. I hope there's no dragons. That 2-4, though. Mm. I was hoping that would go off. Maybe it will still will. I didn't look to see if it was permanent. Looks like it might be. Oh, well. They'll just trade. Unless he buffs it. Yeah, they'll just trade. Uh, let's see. Unless I have something else. <gasps> oh, yes. The battlefront. So that'll kill it. When it happens. And... Yeah. Oh! Shield won, though. That wouldn't have saved it. He doesn't start with shield. No, he doesn't. Anyways, that'll go. He'll move forward, perhaps. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Yep, yeah, that goes off. Kills the dog. Do I move forward? No. He's in attacks mode. Wait, what, what the heck did he pump him with? Maybe that's the domain thing? Maybe you slap something on the ground, and that becomes the domain, like an area of effect, so something's standing in that area? I'm not quite sure. So, that's pretty good. Let's have a look. If there's anything here? No, it doesn't explain. Hmm. And he's got the same thing I have as well. Don't know what that is. Oh well. Let's put something down. Turk creature gains shield one. You already have shield one. And other soldiers get plus one attack. That's quite good. We want that. And we're going to take three. Got a lot of things to play with this deck. Nice. Uh, I didn't see what that was, but some sort of heal or something. Okay, we're gonna chuck the warden. We'll get up to four. Two infantry to find. Yeah, okay, that's good. Two. So we can throw these out. These are two twos. We can put two twos on both sides. And first strike, though, that's pretty harsh. Let's just take the three. Do I get to choose? Maybe I get to choose later. We'll find out. Guardian? Up. Ah, so he's going to keep all of our creatures. Even his creatures get Guardian as well. They can't attack. Okay, that's just random where they pop in. Maybe just go defensive. Nice. 
At least killed one creature. I can keep throwing like one twos out to take that three four. Let's have a look here. Plus one plus two. Domain must be used to friendly creature. The domain is occupied by enemy. It will be destroyed. So this is what I think. It's the, it's the ground basically. You slap it on the ground, and that's what um, will buff that spot until the enemy steps into it and destroys it. Um, I still want to play that. Oh, but I could get rid of this and play both these. Doesn't matter. Um, let's let's throw out the domain on something. Cool. We figured something out. Ah, uh, but I want to play that, so I'm not going to. I could chuck this an offering and then throw whatever is next turn, then have something, then I could play that. Let's do that. Oh, and we can also do this. So that domain over there, it's the glowing mark. thats I could kill that if I walked into it or destroy it. And then we had a spell that allowed us to destroy domains early on in one of the other fights. That's what that's about. Something that should have been explained. That's oh, a 2-2. Two -two. Cool. He is going down fast though. He's not going to block with anything. He got another domain thing as well to buff it. Sure. And put this out, four or five. Got flying, so he can't. Oh, he can touch it because he is a ranged guy. Doesn't matter. What are we doing? Four, five, seven, eight, nine. This guy's almost dead. Griffin! Yeah. That art. Getting Agent Empires feel from some of these cards. <laughs> Phew. Now he's untouchable, I think. Yeah, he destroys the domain. Hey, we are, get our own little bulldog. Destroy the other domain. It doesn't matter, though. This guy's dead. Dead, dead, dead. Swing for the win. So I'm going to definitely be playing a little bit of this. I want I want to check out the Necromancer. I like any games with undead and necromancy. That's, that is my class of choice. Fantasy, so. Sacrifice creature, you draw two cards. Vigilance, first strike. Cool. Let's open some stuff. Yeah, there's. we're not going to see the Necro on this stream, I'm afraid. There is a single player campaign though, so if I really want to do a series on this game, the slowest series ever, um, I could show it off. Okay. Which I might, I don't know. It just feels so slow. Tricolor. Obviously. Sometimes it's other, more than, sometimes it's more cards, by the way. It's random. It's RNG. I'm chucking all my starting money and, and stuff. Let's see. What do we got? Um, just to show it off, obviously. Goblins, zero cost, one, two. Okay, this is a, a bunch of nice stuff to throw down. I'll keep that. I haven't been mulliganing. Needing to, really. opponent has got 36, because he doesn't have any abilities. He just has health. As you can see here. Doom rings. And I have the typical summon a one, one, two. Put the little goblin out. Wee -hee. And sacrifice what? We have a five, four slowly, um, a three, four slowly. Ah, so many good cards. So many good cards. And then gain life. Play infantry. They're all good. really want to do any of them, but oh well. That might be interesting about deck building. Putting in f just mana cards. Cards you want to throw away just to get mana. Late game, that would hurt you. Kind of like getting mana screwed. Mana flooded. Go a little 2-1, go! Okay, who else do you want to sacrifice? Because uh, we're going to play something. Three, one of these two guys. This five four or the six three. 
slowly thing, but yeah, we'll get rid of you. Bye bye. Get the little healer out. I could put him behind here just to keep him alive. Do I really need to do the, you know, the damage? But yeah, let's go ahead. So there's some, there's some things to think about. You could, there are tactics or strategy outside the usual by having the battle grid. Before I started the stream, I mentioned Duelist was similar. Obviously, a little bit different, but we had games like Duelist that were really nice. Smite Tactics. Okay. Oh, that was that massive thing. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, what do we want to play? That, that, the 3-4, the 2-5. Three, two, three, two, the slow guy. There we go. By the way, what is this? What does this guy do? Let's first check that. Um, oh, yeah. Possibly could do some damage. We'll find out. Do three damage to him. Okay, see if he casts a spell. Nope. Um, little one-two funny looking guy. Goes straight in, it's got a charge. Hey, and then it disappears and goes back. Okay, cool. Whatever. I think I screwed up when I had a charge card and I put him in the defensive row when I didn't need to. That might be the one I throw away. We get the rock golem out. Swing. Friendly creatures get plus one attack. I don't know why you threw that out there. That seemed odd. Was that? I don't know if that was a sacrifice or what. I don't think you normally see the sacrifice, so who knows? Hey, another little fast guy. Can we see him? Charge! Then you turn. Return goblin storm heart. Yes. And just a strip three two. She's gonna trade. Uh. Uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> kind of garbage. Um, okay. And we're on four. We could throw one out, and then throw one out, and then we'll play this next turn. Those are the options we have. Uh, put you out here. And we have enough to put another guy out. Okay. Hopefully I don't draw something really awesome next turn. Then again, we could just play it. Slow guy, yeah, he's delayed one turn. He just doesn't move. It's very slow. <laughs> yeah, you feel this. You feel how slow they are. There you go. See, he moves. See. And boom. Six, seven. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. The enemy's up to six, so you throw down a five cost. Five four. You can't click on the, the other cards as well. Until it's your turn. Trample. When Goblin Swine it gets plus two. Yeah. So it's a seven. To all creatures. No, that'll hurt me. Um I need something defensive there. That I'm not going to use probably ever. Do a stupid amount of damage and win. That's 16 damage on the stack. They're wrong. Okay. Probably because the slowly guy doesn't swing or something. I don't know. I, I missed that by just a slight bit. Doesn't matter. Wow. That's pretty scary. And he has trampled. So I took some damage there. A lot of damage. And target creature gets plus three, plus three. And this should be it. Put another guy down. Not that it matters. Swing for the win. That'll be pretty much it. Let's play out. Woo! Kila goes for the win. Let's get some loot. Win the battle, win four games.
some more gold. Uh, destroy target artifact. Draw a card. Straightforward stuff. And let's get... Hey, it's gold! Woot. That wasn't worth it, was it? Again, these are, as always, any game with these kind of mechanics are definitely geared towards the house. The house always wins. Draw a card. Destroy another target artifact. Orc warrior. So maybe warrior is red and mage is the blue. Okay. And that's it. We don't get any other unlocks or anything. That's our exercise done. I guess maybe you can keep grinding them. Keep opening up. Maybe there are levels for the factions. We are level 7 now. We have quests, of course. Go into our... Here we are. Not really much to see there. Collection. We can see we got 10 new. We got These are the starter decks. We create our own decks. Um, custom decks. We have here some set decks. Unlocking requires level 9. Locking, so, th so we do get at level 14, Undead Army. There's some more decks to unlock. That's cool. Nice. Want to edit your own deck? First try to modify one of the default decks. Um, you can also click to create a custom deck. Yeah, good. Cool. Okay. I think we pretty much showed off everything. There's the daily quests. Friends list. Settings. Not much there are to see. Hey, and there we go. This is the rankings leaderboards. As I said, this is a Chinese CCG. Obvious there. Also, right before I leave, there was another game. Andor was also a board game. I'm not sure if there's a relationship at all between those. If they licensed the IP or what. It was kind of interesting. Oh, let's check the store. So, check here how much it costs. Small pack. Three common cards and uncommon. Uh, four common cards, three uncommon cards. Opportunity to open a rare or epic card. Probably give you a rare every 10 small packs. And then epic. Every 10 epic packs will probably give you one extra rare. <laughs> so there you go. In case you're interested. That is it. I don't want that. Get out of there. Looking around here is quite difficult. Get me out of here. By the way, I can't even scroll up and down this. Oh, you have to drag because it's a it's a mobile game. Got to drag. Pull skills, card zone. You can see how far I am in terms of progress. Card zone, 255 of 1,724. Cool. Achievements. So many achievements. Okay. Right. Thank you very much for watching. As always, I do these every Saturday. 7 p.m. GMT plus one. Different indie games. If you're interested in CCGs, I do CCGs on the channel, on YouTube. Check me out there. Mostly Hex, Hearthstone, and a bit of everything. Like this game and other games similar to it. As always, like, comment, subscribe on YouTube. You can follow me and subscribe to me on Twitch as well. Check me out on the socials. I'm on Patreon. Throw some dollars my way. It's always great. Since I don't get any money from the ads anymore, thank you, YouTube. Hopefully YouTube will revert that or I'll jump to another. God, we need some competition, don't we? We'll see. We'll see. Right. Thank you once again for watching. And I'll catch you next time.